this is what you do when it's 90 degrees out and you have to film and you sweat like a hoss. Dewalt, powered by Dewalt. Not a sponsor, but please, we could get 10 more of these. <laughs> Pulled up in a tree with us, I'll put a hook on it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I should put a screw in and <laughs> put your Dewalt fan in there. Anything else needed in here? What's up guys? Welcome to today's episode. In today's episode, we're going to cover what the best mobile hunting setup is and why. I run mostly trophy line gear. I prefer a one-stop shop, and I'm going to tell you in this video why you should be running that gear as well. Whenever you're ready. All right, I got my pack loaded down. Uh, season's going to kick in in about two months for us. We're going down to, uh, to Kentucky in early September. So we're getting stuff organized. We're getting stuff ready. We're going to make some tweaks, but I think this is about what I'm going to run this year. So why don't I show you guys? So we're going to come over here. We're at Kev's house. We got this fancy pole that he, as I just kicked my mic off, we got this fancy pole in the yard, courtesy of Sarah allowing the pole in the yard. So Sarah, if you're watching, Kevin's wife, thank you. Pole. So this is what I would do if I was in the woods. Get to my tree. This is where I want to hunt. I'm running the frame pack from Trophy Line. I just really like the structure. I like the support in my back. Um, I, you can go with a lighter pack. You can go with a pack that's a little smaller, but I personally like the support and I like that feel of a frame pack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to the tree. And I'm gonna start unstrapping everything. I only run two sticks and a platform with right here. This is the magic, this is the magic pill of the Aider. So once I get to the tree, I'm unstrapping everything. Everything's, um, we're gonna try to be quiet as I unstrap that. Everything's wrapped in stealth strips to try to eliminate that metal noise. I'm gonna pull both sticks off. And I'm gonna pull the platform off. So what I'm running is two mini sticks from Trophy Line. Uh, they're, they're powered by Novix. And I'm running their mission platform. This is the biggest platform that Trophy Line offers. Personally, I would rather deal with more weight to have the foot space. It's just a personal preference. I know a lot of guys want the lightest possible, but for me, I would rather have more, more space. So now that everything's tossed to the side, in reality, my backpack's ready to get thrown back on my back and climb and climb. Um, but while we're here, I'll talk about some other gear that I run to make my life a little bit easier as a mobile hunter. So for one, um, this gear aid, uh, also known as like a hero clamp, is a new addition for this year. Really looking forward to this. You know, if you got a if you got a, a tree limb or something, you can just hook on. If you've got your linesman's rope or your tethered or whatever it may be, you can hook onto the tree. Great option. It's not a screw in, so it's safe on public land, etc really lightweight all i did was wrap it in some stealth strips and i think that's how i'm going to run it this year um what i keep in my pack a saw on private uh, obviously you can't cut on public um and then i'll get into some like, camera gear on this side of my pack so i run the pocket arm this is a new addition for me uh last year i was running a out on a limb which there's absolutely nothing wrong with i just wanted more of a sleek smaller i was trying to cut weight where i could and uh, this was probably the best option that i could find i'm still kind of figuring out how i want to strap it to the pack but right now the frame pack has so many different um, clips that it just fits in right there and it makes sense i do have my second angle screw in mostly use this on private if i'm on public i try to just use my pov camera while i'm walking in and then i'll use like a gopro with a clamp style um, for my second angle in the tree. Um, in my pack, we'll go from the, the top to bottom. I also like to carry a couple hooks. If I'm on private, screw in hooks. Um, I find these hawks to be the best. Um, I just feel like they're the sharpest and they're the most durable. You can buy the cheap ones uh, that are a couple bucks a piece, but I just feel like they always break and, and they're, they just don't last. 
Um, I self film everything. So my next pocket down would be all my extra batteries. I don't have anything in here, but this is where I keep them. I keep them here because it's easy access and it's quick to get to. Um, with the case pack or the frame pack, this next pouch is like a cushioned pouch. I really don't keep anything in here. If I'm hunting an all day sit, I'll throw some snacks in here and stuff, but that's about it. On the last packet or pocket, this is where I throw my truck keys and this is where I keep my knives and my extra blades. Um, I might keep some extra batteries in here. Uh, if I'm going back deep into public, I might throw a camera in here, like a trail camera, if I'm gonna change something out. Um, so that's all the external stuff. And I'll dive into the internals of the pack. So internally, this is ready to hunt. This is what I would be running if it was October. I have my strap for my, my uh, pocket arm. I've got my main camera. And then if I'm on public, uh, this is a cool little um, 3D printed piece that I bought from Innovating the Outdoors. I think it's called their Bear Claw. Um, basically, it's just a 3D printed bow hook. I'll show you guys how I hook that up here in a second. Always carry rain gear with me. I run Osseo gear. I, I really like it. There's no reason other than that. I just think it's a quality brand and I, and I like it. Um, and then I have a big, I have a bigger jacket. A lot of guys will probably not run a extra jacket in their pack, but I prefer to because this is the only reason why I stay out in the woods longer than than somebody else, for example. is If, if I get cold, I'm gonna wanna get to the truck. So I sacrifice the weight. I know this jacket's gonna add maybe an extra couple pounds to my pack, but I sacrifice that to stay warm so I can stay in the tree longer. At the bottom of my pack, I've got just some nylon rope uh, deer drag, basically. Or this stuff will save you if you get to a big tree and you can't fit your first stick around. You can add this to lengthen your strap. Same thing with this, uh, this strap as well. It's, it's a deer drag, but I use this a lot for my camera arm. If I need to get around a bigger tree, it's like an extension. Um, don't run a lot of calls, but I do have a grunt call in there. I'm not going to get into that because I don't really call a lot to deer. I don't think where I'm at, it works. Um, I carry some other gear with me, some gloves, a hat, and a neck gaiters for when it gets cold. Um, other than that, that's the pack. So we'll throw all the stuff that doesn't matter out of the way, and we'll start climbing because that's probably what you guys care about the most. So this is my setup from when I get to the tree. So I've got two sticks and an aider. Normally I'd have my bino harness on, and what I would do is I would start to unravel my aider, and I would hang it from my bino harness. So for this example, Aider comes down, it's a three-step backwoods mobile gear. It's, it's a lifesaver. So I'm basically replacing two sticks with this Aider. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hang it on my, my saddle. I run daisy chain instead of, instead of straps. Um, I think it's a lot lighter, it's easier, in my opinion, no noise. So what I'm gonna do is, because of that Aider, I'm gonna put my chin on the stick and I'm going to get that stick as high as I can get it. And with Daisy Chain, the secret is to just pull the stick to the side, get on your loop, and pull down. I'm about six foot tall, so um, I try to keep this above my head. So we're a little bit over six foot to that bottom stick. My aider gets hooked on. And if I had my bino harness, this little clip would get clipped on my bino harness for right now I might, put it, I might put it in my mouth but we'll see at this point in time um, without showing everybody during the process of me showing you what was in my pack normally I'd have all the the daisy chains ready I've got some hooks on my saddle and all I'm gonna do is 3d printed hooks I'm just gonna hook that stick on. Same thing with the back. I have a hook where I can hook my platform. And now I'm ready to climb. Um, I might adjust some of the hooks. 
Um, this is a new saddle for me this year. I'm running the Venatic this year instead of the Covert Light. So I might have to reposition some hooks. So if you hear some banging or clinging, I, I realize I'm gonna have to make some adjustments. But that's basically all it is. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start climbing. I believe I have everything. I am gonna put my, my linesman's rope on for safety. Uh, I strongly encourage everybody to do this because um, you never know what will happen. Accidents happen and, it, it, and this could save your life. And, and I don't have to get into more details other than that. Just be responsible while you're in the woods. You want to leave yourself enough room where you can actually swing your legs in. So I'm actually going to get this bridge out of my way. I'm going to tighten it up. I feel like my... Okay. So first step. And it's a rinse and repeat process. I would pull the aider up. I would hang my next stick as high as I can. For, vi for video purposing, I'm gonna climb back down and show you guys what I would do next. So let's pretend for video purposing, I'm at my next stick. I'm at the top of this stick. I hang my next stick as high as I can. This piece is attached to my bino harness. I pull this up with me and I hook it on my next stick. So if we can pretend that this is my next stick, I would simply pull this aider up, hook it and repeat. Once I get to the top, I have my linesman's rope on and we'll pretend like I'm setting, setting my platform. So I reach behind, I grab my platform, if I can get my stick out of the way. Let me throw this stick to the side. So I reach behind, I grab my platform. And this is where I would set it. Always want to set it up for your strong side um, for a shot. So I'm going to pretend like my strong side's over here. Platform is going to go on the back side of the tree. I personally like to lay the platform down just like this. When I'm first setting it up, I might lean into it a little bit and I'm going to pull it around, get that strap on the Versa button, pull her nice and tight, and then I'm going to fold it up and pull her tight again, push down, and that's gonna set my platform. So now I can step up into my platform. Obviously I still have my linesman's rope on. I'm gonna step up in my platform and then tie into my tether and start hunting. That's it. That's, how, that's all the gear that I run. This is what I do and uh, go from there. All right, another tip that I forgot to mention that actually Black reminded me of while we were filming. Um, take your tail end of your rope in your linesman, drop it through your carabiner. And if, you, if you're in a pinch and you need to get closer to the tree, you can take the end of your tail and you can pull it. Once your carabiner hits that knot, that Prusik knot, you can pull it tighter and then it's a one-handed cinch. Kind of like a poor man's ropeman and obviously if you wanted to loosen it just take your weight off of the tree and pull the prusik knot with one hand so now you can loosen and tighten everything with one hand and not having to reach around the tree and grab two hands while you got your pack on your back etc all right do i sound all right are you recording okay 
So now for fun, I'm gonna show you guys how high I can get with two sticks and an aider. So to prove, we are running, I mean, this is a tiny stick. This is the mini from Trophy Line. It's the double step. I like the double step over the single because it gives me more leg room and more foot position to kind of wiggle in the tree. We got that first stick up, like I showed you guys earlier. You put it up as high as you can, you hang the aider. So now, old Jerry, Jerry has climbed and he's up there looking at us. And I'm going to shimmy up, drop a tape measure and show you guys exactly how high I can get with two sticks and one aider. Let's go. Oh, safety first. Safety first. Safety always first. Normally I'd have my bino harness, so this would be just on there, but I'm going to clip this just on my saddle. Well, hey there, Jerry. <laughs> so, I may not be able to get that one on, that's what I thought. Sometimes with the daisy chain, that's the only downfall so I'm gonna have to you kind of sacrifice maybe a couple inches but it's not bad the real question is will this pole support me and old Jerry that's the real question but I think it will so loosen up your linesman's rope a little bit hang on to your stick your first step in your aider is very important. Get the arch all the way through, and then you kind of pull up. Keep going. And as I hit the GoPro, we're up. That's two sticks and one aider. No. We drop, drop the old magic. Don't want to show that side, it's competitor. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll drop the smart end down to Kev and see how high we got. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too good of a take. <laughs> Hold on. I'll push, I'll push the dumb end to Kev. Problem is I need to, Pull her down, Kev. Okay, hold on. So in this situation, I would hang my platform probably about waist high. So that way I can step into it safely. And I still have my, my bridge on, my linesman's rope, excuse me, I still have that on. I can tie in my tether here. But we're at, we're at 16 foot to my, my waist. But the secret is, Kev's not touching the ground because all we have is a six foot, 16 foot tape measure. <laughs> How much farther you got, Kev? Go down to the ground. Okay. All right, let go. I got her. So right, hmm, this is gonna be fun. Uh, it's basically to your knees. So let's add, yeah, basically two foot. It's basically right two foot. Yep. So we're 18 foot. Here you go, Kevy. We're 18 softball skills. 
We're 18 foot with two sticks and an aider. And when guys say they hunt 30 foot in a tree, they are lying. Nobody climbs 30 foot in a tree because I'm up here. That's not even 30 foot. Supposedly Kev says that this pole is not even 30 foot. 28. So if you're truly climbing 30 foot, good for you because you're, you're, you got bigger, you know what, than I do. Cause I'm a little sketch right now. <laughs> but yeah, there's uh, 18 foot with two sticks and one aider. Let's wrap it up. Kevy here, film me, Jerry, and then I'll just wrap it up right here. You good? All right, thanks for watching today's episode. Please like and subscribe. That's how you climb a tree. That's all the gear that I use. Is it the best? I would argue, but use your own preference. Go out, buy some gear, test it, have fun, enjoy yourself in the outdoors, and as always, Born Again is out. Peace.